Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back, <coughs> excuse me, to another video on the little Bolingo van. Today we really are going to crack on and try and get this completely buttoned up so that the last bit will literally be the paintwork. But this van can be used without that being done. So we really want to knuckle in today and get this completely buttoned up. Get the front panel on, front bumper, windscreen, the battery tray. We've got that laying in there. We've got the wires all clipped in it. We're going to get that bolted down. The fuse box holder and uh, ECU. We've got that laying in there, all held down. We're going to bolt that in. We're just going to crack on and get everything done. Get it completely built back up so that it's all on the road and it's ready to go. We're, we're waiting for a logbook for it anyway, but we really want to get this project out of the workshop and get the next one in here. So let's get on with it and try and get it all finished today. We have just realised, you would have seen there, we've got these on the floor. This is the original front panel for the van. And obviously the, the fan is smashed and the top of it is broken. And I've just gone to fit the air comrade and the water rad into the new front panel. And as you can see, this is obviously a non aircon front panel. And this is slightly lower and you've got a cut out here. And on this one, it's a solid piece. So Chris has just marked it up and he's now going to trim that down, cut it out and turn this into an aircon front panel. The fans are probably different speeds. So this was probably a two speed fan being aircon and this is single speed. But fortunately we have got the one off of the parts van. It's got a little crack in the top so we're not using it. But it is the two speed aircon fan. So we've got the fan to put into the new front panel. Little bit of an update. So that's the front panel in there. The uh, fan off the parts van all fitted. Intercoolers all bolted on. Air conditioning, radiator, condenser, all bolted in. Got all the pipes back on it. All the water hoses are back on now. Chris is just nipping up. He's nipped in all the battery tray. Everything has all lined up and gone back exactly how it should, which is absolutely lovely and it just shows you it's all exactly where it should be he's just uh, tightening up this fuse box i've just fitted the bonnet catch bonnet cable this is just resting there we'll be tightening it down shortly and just keep moving on with it but so far it's actually going really really well and everything's going back together really nice and very very quickly that's why i thought i'd come in and do a bit of an update and let you know how we was getting on with it
so progressing very, very nicely. Everything seems to be clipping back in, going back exactly where it should. That is now all bolted in. The new battery is in there. That's all bolted down, all connected up. All of the pipes already, the live's not on it yet. All of the pipes are connected up. I've just gone and grabbed an antifreeze. We've got some brake fluid there. We've got the easy bleed. And obviously, because the system's been open, we've now got to go around and bleed the whole system, all four corners. It has got four disc brakes on it as well. I was quite shocked. I've not noticed that these had disc brakes on the back, but we'll be going around bleeding all of those up stick some water in it and some antifreeze hopefully there's no leaks because if there is it's going to be a waste of money because antifreeze is not cheap so really are moving along with it we're just going to keep cracking on we really do want to get it done So that's all the brakes bled up and they seem to be working great. We've put the wheels back on. We now just took the side loading door off. We're gonna go outside and strip that one off that parts van and get that fitted on here. just had an arrival. What have we got? Nice new set of wheel trims. We'll get them fitted straight away. So there we have it, Chris's new van. We are still waiting to find a front grille for it reasonably priced because they're so expensive and they seem to come in two or three different parts. So we will stick to our guns. Chris is waiting for a V5 to come through for it before he can tax it. So there's no major rush with that. But I just thought I'd do a little walk around now. It is all done. Those new wheel trims really finished it off. We'll have a bit more room the other side come further away but it's been an absolute pleasure to do it's all been very very easy and it has been very very quick so no complaints whatsoever we put that side loading door on this morning in the time lapse you would have seen the other one had some damage on it here 
and this has got a little dent there that we will be repairing in the next video. But yeah, what do you think? It's come out really nice. All the gaps are very, very nice and match all the way around. Like I said in the first ever video, this van was in no way damaged as bad as it looked. It looked atrocious and it really, really wasn't. That's the original door off of this van that we've removed. And that is the damage that was on the side loading door. So it just made sense to swap it over. You would have seen there as well, we had the windscreen fitters out. We've took the window out the parts van. We was talking earlier and when we got this van, since we got it, we've actually repaired four other vans with this one parts van. Obviously the engine into the one that Chris is driving at the moment. We repaired one that was hit in the front and we used all the parts off of this. And we repaired one with, I can't even remember. We re <laughs> we've done four vans out of it and this is the fourth one. So we're just waiting on finding a grill for it and then it'll be good to go. So in the next video, we'll be doing all the bodywork, getting it in the paint shop, doing the paint work on it, fitting the grill, and that will be it. And then we'll start the work on Chris's old van. We've got a few little jobs to do to it and get it cleaned up. But let us know what you think of this project in the comment section down below. Like I said, it's been really nice and easy to do. We had most of the parts here, which really, really helped. So overall, it's a thumbs up from us. And if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up as well. Thank you all very much for watching. Check out the merchandise, link is in the description. Like, subscribe and share, and we will see you very soon in the next one.